What's up, Hustlers? Before we get into today's video, I want to speak to those of you out there, maybe finally ready to take the steps necessary to become an entrepreneur. As many of you may already know, me and my mentor have a series going on on this channel where at least once or twice a week, we're going to give you businesses that you can start for under $1,000 that can make you six figures. In addition to that, we are now offering a two-day event where you could come out and gain the confidence and the hands-on training necessary so that you can go out and really apply those skills that we're teaching you in these videos in the real world. Now, this course is not for everybody, but if you're somebody out there who is interested in starting a cell phone repair business, a small appliance repair business, or even a home appliance repair business, and you want an opportunity to come out and get some hands-on training Ask the questions you have in real time. Get a real time answer. I would love to see you at my event. As of right now, we only have two spots still available. I'm going to put the link in the description below for those of you that still want to attend. The first two people that go ahead and register and go ahead and lock in their spot will be the last two people that we're going to allow in this event. If you can't make it to this event, then the course will be available for sale after the fact. But you can go ahead and pre-order it now. That link is in the description as well. And there will also be future events. If you're tired of just watching YouTube videos and seeing and hearing other people make money and you want to get a piece of that pie, come out to the Appliance Repair Boot Camp. You'll meet me. You'll meet my mentor. You'll get not only hands-on experience so that you can diagnose and fix problems. You're also going to get a thorough education on each appliance. And you're going to get taught marketing and how you can scale up your business for years to come to do whatever it is that you would like to do. Thanks for your time. Now let's start the video. What's up, hustlers? It's your boy JT Hustles back in with another video. And in this video, I want to give you some ways you can start creating multiple streams of income for yourself this weekend. Let's get into it. I'm disappointed. Giving you the blueprint to get it out here, and you don't want to do what it takes. this video I'm going to upload this video on the weekend but if the weekend has already passed and you're seeing this video no worries you can apply these skills any weekend I'm not an anti-job person we've all had jobs before so I'm going to assume that many people that watch this video will say that their job is their primary source of income and maybe their only source of income so in this video I just want to give you some ideas that you can consider to create multiple streams of income for yourself by sacrificing a weekend or two or however many you want to sacrifice depending on your level of hustle and how big a stream of income you want to create in addition to your 9 to 5 job or whatever else it is that you decide to do to make money. First thing that I want to share with you guys is you heard me say it before, I'm going to say it again, go around your entire house in everything that you feel like you can live without, take pictures of it, list it online, and then cross-list it online. List it on eBay, Poshmark, Macari, Amazon, Craigslist. Now, is there a science to how you properly list different items online? Absolutely, but good for you if you're watching this video, you're already on the right channel. I make plenty of videos about how to list items, taking pictures and packaging items and shipping them and things of that nature. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and check out some of the other videos that are on this channel because I will definitely teach you everything you need to know from how to source items and knowing whether or not an item will be profitable for you to resell before you even buy it out of the store all the way down to listing the item, taking pictures, writing product descriptions, and shipping out that item. So if you need help doing that, no worries. Subscribe to the channel. Check out other content on this channel after this video. That is the first thing, and I believe one of the easiest things that you can do over the weekend that can create an additional source of income for yourself. Many people have coffee mugs laying around. These sell really well online. Many people have books laying around their house. These sell really well online. You might have toys laying around your house. Hats, clothes, electronics. 
Cell phones, believe it or not, there are insane things being sold online every single day. I've sold boxes of cereal. There are listings available right now of people selling toilet paper rolls. Yes, not even the toilet paper, but the roll that's in the center of the toilet paper. After it's done, people buy that for arts and crafts purposes. And you know what? At the end of the day, it doesn't matter why they buy it. It just matters that they buy it. So go around your house. I'm sure there's something that you have that's in good condition, but you can live without. And take some pictures of it, list it online, and then you can just put it back wherever it is, in a box, in the back of the closet. Now, instead of that item just sitting where it is and just taking up space and providing zero value to your household, now that item will eventually sell if you list it properly according to the way that I teach people how to list items and you can find other resources online. That item will eventually make you a little extra money and maybe a lot of extra money depending on how much stuff you have laying around your house that you're willing to list. Something else that you can do this weekend to create an additional stream of income for yourself is download certain apps on your phone. I have a whole video out on this, actually multiple videos. You guys know I will link it in the description again, a video that will go a long way and tell you guys about the app and app that you can download where you literally can make $30 just for holding up your phone and recording your voice as you read words off of the screen. Now, to some people, that sounds unbelievable and it can't be true. Download the app and start making money for yourself and then you will be a believer. Other than the app and app, they have the Job Spotter app. I'm sure many of you guys heard of Acorns, which is an app that rolls over your change and invests. Like I mentioned, the Job Spotter app, all you do is take a picture of hiring signs and you get paid money for that. Now, is it a lot of money? Honestly, no. So I don't ever go out of my way just to go hunt for now hiring signs. But as I'm going about my normal day, if I do come across a hiring sign, I take a quick picture, takes a couple of seconds. So even if you download an app and it doesn't give you a hundred dollars a day and it only gives you a little bit of money, think about it like this. If it only takes a couple of seconds and it will accumulate over time and always roll over, it's better than no money at all. Something else you can do on your next weekend to create an additional stream of income for yourself is if you have graphic design skills or any kind of online skills that you can virtually share with people, consider making an account on Fiverr.com. That's Fiverr.com. Now, I've used Fiverr a lot, but if you're somebody with those skills, Fiverr.com is a great resource for you to go market your skills out to the world and create an additional income stream for yourself. Now, if you look into Fiverr and Fiverr is not enough money for you and you really have skills that you know are very valuable in the open market, check out Upwork as well and see if that interests you. Another way that you can create an additional income stream for yourself this weekend, this method will not only make you happy because you're making additional income, it's going to make your kids ecstatic. And that is if you or your children love to play video games, allow them to play as much as they would like to, but every time that game cuts on, you need to be streaming on YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, everywhere. There's software out there that allow you to stream on multiple platforms at one point in time. Are you going to make multiple streams of income your first day on Twitch, your first day on YouTube? No. You have to meet criteria, but that is true of everything that's on this list. So you can set it up and start getting the ball rolling this weekend, and then by being consistent, then you can create an additional income stream for yourself. Next thing that I want to share with you guys, if you want to create an additional income stream for yourself over this weekend, this is tailored for those of you that are pet lovers. Many of you guys know that I really love dogs and I really love fish. Don't have any dog at the moment, but I have started breeding fish. Now, when it comes to fish breeding, especially the kind of fish that I have, it is really going to be a long-term investment because the fish that I bought aren't even breeding size yet. So I have to grow them out, put them in a healthy environment, and once I grow them out a little bit, then I can really start to breed them and make money. If you're not a big pet person, then you can go ahead and mark this one off your list because this requires you having at least two pets. 
And sometimes it may take longer than you expect for them to breed and for you to have viable young that you can resell and start recouping your investment and then turning a profit. Something else that you can do starting this weekend to create an additional income stream for yourself is start making money with your vehicle. I don't care if it's with Uber, Instacart, Lyft, Postmates, DoorDash, Courier Work, whatever it is that you can do with your vehicle, start trying to make money with your vehicle over the weekend. Next thing you can do this weekend to create an additional income stream for yourself is that you can go to flea markets. Now you can go to flea markets to sell stuff obviously, but I'm gonna tell you in actuality, if you just wanna move something for cheap and quickly, then go sell at flea markets. Everybody at a flea market is there to howl you down. So don't go to a flea market thinking that you're gonna get top price for whatever it is you're trying to sell. But if you have a whole bunch of items and you don't mind selling them for dirt cheap just to get them going and to make fast cash, a few extra dollars, then selling at a flea market is not a bad idea. Now, what I personally find to be the greatest value of going to flea markets is going to flea markets and being on the other side of that table, haggling people down, buying stuff for low, and then going back and making money by the first thing that I mentioned on this list, by reselling items on eBay, Poshmark, Macari, and things of that nature. I went to flea markets and spent $10 and made $110 by flipping it on eBay. And you can do the same as well. Go buy flea markets, thrift stores, yard sales, or wherever there's a good sale at this weekend. And that is another way that you can create an additional income stream for yourself. But I do want to emphasize, I don't want you to start there if you have no experience selling stuff online. Start off with selling the stuff that you have around your house. That way you can get familiar with how the process goes, what are the fees, how do you package something, how do you ship something. But once you're ready to go beyond that, or you just sell out of everything that you're ready to get rid of in your house, then this is uh, how you can keep it going and creating another additional income stream for yourself. Another thing that you could do is go to stores like Hobby Lobby, Michaels, any kind of arts and crafts store, maybe even the arts and crafts section of your local Walmart. And if you're a very creative person, you can actually create things to sell. I know people that make their own rosaries, bracelets, uh, do crocheting and knitting, and then sell those items online. So this is another way that you can go out this weekend and start developing another stream of income for yourself if you're a very creative person. Final thing that I have on this list, you guys, is that you can go to your local cell phone stores, and I personally recommend the prepaid cell phone stores, like if, it's, if there's a Boost Mobile not too far away from your area and you know it's franchised out, or any kind of cell phone related shop, I would go there and ask them, do they have somebody there that already fixes their phones? As you guys know, I've recently learned how to fix phones. I am slowly going to branch out and start fixing phones for businesses. Right now, I'm just doing it on a small scale, fixing people's phones here and there for a discounted price just to get my practice up. But nevertheless, you can go to local cell phone shops in your area, ask them if they already have somebody that's fixing their cell phones. If they say yes, you can ask to be referred to that individual and then you can contact that person and say, hey, do you need any help fixing the cell phones? You guys know that me and Mike create content teaching you guys how to fix cell phones. We're also hosting an event that will teach you guys the entire business of not only how do you fix cell phones, but how do you market and get contracts and fix larger appliances and all of that. But for this particular income stream, I'm gonna keep it small and say just go out, find stores, if they already using somebody to fix their phones, contact that person, see if they need any help. Now, are you gonna make as much money as if you would've got, got the phones directly from the cell phone company? Of course not. You're gonna to have to be willing to take a cut on that. But lots of times, if that individual is swamped with work, they might be willing to outsource some of the work to you if they already have a contract or an agreement with that cell phone store for you to do some of their repairs as well. And you can still make a few bucks that way. If you do come across a store that doesn't have anybody fixing their phones, then you can leave your information there and tell them that you would be willing to fix phones and you can negotiate a rate that makes sense for you based off of the amount of time that you have. Because if you're only gonna be doing this on the weekend, then you gotta be realistic with how much volume can you handle? And when it comes to fixing people's cell phones, the, the sooner they can get them back, the better. 
but this is still something that you can do. And if you want to branch this stuff out into your week after work or whenever you have free time, then it will only benefit you and allow you to grow these streams even more. Now, I want you to know that this isn't just for the people who feel like they aren't making enough money. So even if you have a great job, great benefits, making great money, um, if that's your only source of income, still consider creating an additional source of income for yourself. So if nothing else, maybe you'll have a little extra pocket change to go on vacation with or to do whatever it is that you want to do. All my hustlers stay hustling. JT Hustles, I'm gone.